A bell jar is an inverted glass jar, primarily used to display an object of scientific curiosity. It is either filled with gas or maintains vacuum. Esther Greenwood, the protagonist of the story, feels that she is trapped inside an airless jar that distorts her vision of the world and disconnects her from the people around her. Esther Greenwood is a college student who aspires to become a poet. She gets through an internship to become a guest editor in one of the fashion magazines in New York. There, she meets two kinds of people, the rebels who are against the system and the conformists who are always by the system. There, she fights to find her identity her relationship with her boyfriend is also rough. She is confused whether to become a full-time housewife or to pursue her career. Esther goes back home to find out that she has not made it through a program that she always wanted to get through. This breaks her heart and she decides that she will keep writing, reading and learning shorthand. But she is unable to complete anything in one go. She slowly begins to lose her mind. Her mother is unable to understand her naive and confused mind and she takes her to a doctor. The doctor prescribes her shock therapy which is of no help and her condition worsens. Esther tries to cut herself, drown herself and hang herself. And finally, she takes a whole bottle of sleeping pills to sleep forever. When she wakes up, she finds herself in a hospital under the guidance of a doctor, Dr. Nolan. She is her final ray of hope. After a series of events, Esther's condition improves. And in the end, we see that Esther enters a room full of doctors who are going to decide whether Esther can go back into the world or not. But Esther knows in her mind that the bell jar of her insanity can break any time. The story is contemporary in every sense, although The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath was written in 1963, it is still relevant. It is recently that we have openly started to talk about mental health issues, but way back in 63, Plath was confident that she could write about her mental health openly. This is her autobiographical depiction. This should be read by everyone, even if you are not depressed. It should be read because anyone in your family or anyone around you could be, could be going through depression. And this book gives you a virtual tour inside the mind of a depressed person. If you are feeling sad and, are, and you are not aware that what your condition is, then do read this book because you will relate that there are other people who are going through the same sentiments. Lastly, if you feel in any way that you are depressed or want yourself to be clinically diagnosed, please, please seek help and reach out to a professional. Over the years, this book has become a symbol of feminism. In the popular series The Simpson, Lisa Simpson is seen to read this book as she stands out to be the know-it-all feminist and different from her peers. In 10 Things I Hate About You, the protagonist listens to the female-fronted indie rock bands and 
differentiates herself from the others in a manner that I don't care. And she is also seen to read Silver Platt's The Bell Jar. In the 1997 edition of Sabrina the Witch, Sabrina transforms from a bubbly teenager to a hot-headed spirit and therefore it is symbolized by Sabrina's reading of the bell jar by Sylvia Plath. I've come with a series of girl power fridge magnets and this one is dedicated to Sylvia Plath's the bell jar. To order this design please find the contact details in the comment section. Please do like, subscribe to Anecdotes with Anushree for more such videos. Thank you.